Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Today I just want to do a little um, demonstration on how I deal with chipboard. I don't use it very often, um, and I'm not sure why, but when I do there's a couple ways of doing it. This first one is the letter B, and I just cut that out using the Big Shot um, Sans Serif Alphabet, I think it's called. And what I did is I attached the designer paper to the chipboard and then I ran it through the Big Shot. So you get beautiful crisp edges and it's nice and clean. Now this, oops, this second um, demonstration is I took a piece of designer series paper and I traced it using the um, chipboard itself as the template. And then I cut it out and you can see that I have it covered in adhesive. Now normally I'd use Tombow but I wanted to have it quick for you to see. If you use Tombow you want to make sure that you um, let it dry completely before you start the sanding process. And then I'm going to use the distressing tools that come in the distressing kit from Stampin' Up. So there's three different files that come in the kit. And um, this one has like a square, well it is a square, this one is rounded, and then this one is flat. So what I'm going to then do is I'm going to go around and I'm going to just sand the edge of the designer series paper off of the chipboard and then using the different edges I'm going to get into the different areas and really get those um, definitions in the chipboard showing so then I get a beautiful finished piece here with some nice distressed edges. So I'll get that done and I'll continue with the tag in just a minute. Alrighty, so the edges of my chipboard are now sanded off, you can see. And I'm just going to go around after with the um, sanding tool just to firm up, or to um, take any of the little fray pieces off is what I'm trying to say here. Now I'm going to finish my tag. I've got the two and a half inch circle punch. And then all I did with that two and a half inch circle punch is I ran it through the big shot and I, or not ran it through the big shot, sorry, I had my punch, I can't talk and do it at the same time, I uh, took my circle and then I fed it in through my curly label, or my designer label punch through the top to get that little funky edge on the circle, just something a little different. And then you've already seen my B that I did out of the big shot. So B is for baby, and I might add the rest of the letters after my friend's baby's born, but they're tying with the name Brooke if it's a girl, so I could probably leave that B. And then I'm just gonna feed some linen thread through one of our trinket crowns, which I just love, and then through the wing of the butterfly, and I'll attach that, and I just punched the, um, hole in the butterfly using my crocodile and I'm going to attach that with a bow to the bow in the front of my album um, and then add a couple of little of the um, designer pearls here the basic jewels and my book will be done so I hope you like it and you can see the tag on the final photo at the video if you have any questions feel free to stop on my blog at stampwithheather.ca have a great day thanks